In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create custom feedback messages during quiz reviews. So I've started to build just a basic little course here. I wrote um, a very simple uh, four-question quiz here. And uh, I'm saving this in GIFT format, G-I-F-T format. Um, to learn more about GIFT format, uh, you can um, watch the video that I have right here. I'll put a link to it on your screen and uh, learn about an easy way to write your quiz questions. What's great about GIFT format is you can have your course, you can click on the slide that's going to occur just before the quiz and then click on your quiz drop down menu and import a GIFT format file and these are like I said created in Notepad or any other basic text editor and it will import all of your questions exactly the way that you've written them. So I have um, a very simple uh, quiz question here. This is uh, a series that I call Planet Earth, Living on Planet Earth, the Stuff You Should Know series. In other words, these are really silly questions. They should be very easy to answer. So what color is the sky? Uh, what is covering most of the surface of the Earth? What is it that we breathe? And what often falls out of the sky? Hopefully not airplanes, mud, and cars. But uh, so this comes from a question that one of my viewers said, you know, they, they like the, uh, the, uh, the quiz results uh, slides that you see or the quiz results view that you see, but they want to have a custom message that, that is specific to the question that's being reviewed. And of course, then you can, um, you can put anything you want there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create that message. And like I said, this can be anything you want it to be. So I'm just going to use a text box, a text caption. And we'll put that on there. And I'm just going to take note of the, the name of this text caption underscore three. Okay. So I'm going to resize this a little bit and my feedback message during the review would be um, simply take a look out of a window to get your answer. Okay, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to just paste it here. Again, I'm just going to resize this get it out of the way. Um, you know, if you have a globe, take a look and see what most of the Earth has covering it. Right? And that's pretty, pretty good hint for next time you take this quiz. What is it that we breathe? Um, you know, it's another word for atmosphere. I don't know how good of a hint that is, but anyway. And we'll just copy this and we'll paste this. Again, we'll resize this. <laughs> this is my favorite question. Uh, I'll make this pretty obvious. Hopefully it isn't airplanes, mud, or cars. And we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so on each of my quiz questions, I have a specific feedback that's not one of the captions. Like you can, you can actually put some of that in your captions, but this is specifically for when a user wishes to review a course. So we've got text caption three, four, five, and six. You'll need to remember the, um, the actual uh, text caption name. Now, for this to work properly, we have to actually 
hide these text captions. They're not going to be visible in the regular output. So I'm just going to select each of them and click on the icon for visible and output, which is right next to the caption name. Okay, so the next thing we need is we need a little bit of advanced action work and we're going to be working with uh, some system or a system variable in particular. So this particular course I don't have any advanced actions but I'm going to create the advanced action on enter. In other words every time someone lands on this quiz question this uh, advanced action will run regardless of whether they're reviewing the quiz or if they're taking the quiz for the first time. So I'm just going to click on the drop down menu under the um, the slide property panel for actions and we're going to hit execute advanced actions. Like I said there's no scripts written yet but we're going to write that one right now. So we'll click on the advanced actions uh, folder icon which will bring up the advanced actions window and we'll call this uh, review messages and this is actually not going to be a standard action it's going to be a conditional action so I'm going to have to retype that in sorry review messages so if we need to select that variable that I was talking about so we're going to choose variable if and we scroll down and what we're looking for is CP in review mode that's the system variable that we want to work with so in other words is captivate in review mode is it equal to the literal value and this is a variable that can either have the value of 1 or the value of 0 if it's got a value of 1 you're in the review mode. If it has a value of zero, you're just taking the course. You're just running the course in normal mode. So I'm just going to make that, sorry, I'm just going to make that one. So we're asking Captivate, are you reviewing the quiz? If the answer is yes, we are going to show text caption um, Gosh, I don't recall which one it was now. I think it was three, four, five, and six. So we're going to duplicate this. Actually, I could copy it and uh, just change the actual text caption. Um, show four, show five, and then there's show six as well show six but if we're not in review mode we don't want to show these so we're gonna have an else option and this would cover the eventuality of someone taking the quiz let's say they want to review the quiz and then take it again uh, so we'll build that capability in but we're gonna say hide and three hide or I'm pressing the H key to quickly get the right um, option under uh, the action type so if I press H here it jumps down to H and we'll just choose six so we're good to go so again this is now an advanced action that I can run from any slide that I wish I'm going to save it as an action close this window so what we, we need this review messages um, on each of the question slides so we'll execute advanced action on, on question slide number two and make sure that's available same thing here and same thing here so I think we're all set up and good to go let's preview the quiz and see how this works So I'll be taking the quiz as a normal user, just taking a quiz 
um, initially I'm going to purposely get all the answers wrong so living on planet Earth here we go uh, what color is the sky <laughs> purple <laughs> I love doing this and what is covering most of the surface of the earth dirt okay that's clearly not a correct answer what is it that we breathe mud <laughs> Uh, what often falls out of the sky? Cars. That's clearly a wrong answer. So, now I'm on my quiz results page. I have scored zero out of a potential maximum score of 40. I have zero percent. I've taken this once. Sorry I failed. That's the way it is. So, let's review the quiz. Perhaps I'll learn something by doing that. Uh, so, what color is the sky? Well, the correct answer is blue, and uh, obviously what I chose was purple, but you see now it displays my message here. Simply take a look out the window to get your answer. Hmm, that's a good hint. What is covering most of the surface of the earth? The correct answer is water. Good, I'll remember that. Um, if you have a globe, take a look and see what most of the earth has covering it. There you go. And again, it's another word for atmosphere. Obviously, we're looking for air. Hopefully, it is an airplane's mud or cars. That's, uh, yes, hopefully that's not falling out of the sky. So, again, that's just a great way to uh, enhance the uh, interaction between you and your learners. You could add a little bit of customized messaging there, and it's not just the check marks and the X's. Um, Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing, I encourage each of you to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video in particular, go ahead and give it a thumbs up.